So now the Russian roulette. It's I don't know if you've seen how the Russian roulette works. It's it's a very creepy game where they put in a pistol in the chamber. They would put only one bullet out of the twelve spots that you have in the chamber, and they will spin it randomly or like super hard so that you don't see where it reaches. And then they will close the chamber and it will they will start shooting at someone and and it could be that you die or not because it it depends on on the position of the bullet. So I would I would uh, play with your psychology like that. Like maybe I would shot you once and if that was not your moment to die, then maybe it will be the next one, you know, the next time I shoot. So it's a it's like a torture. It's a way of torturing someone. So this is a representation of the Russian roulette in code. So right now we have the spin chamber function and we have the fire gun. So the idea with is that every time you fire the gun, you will see if it's it's been uh, if it, if if the bullet was in the right position to kill or not. So instructions: the game is almost working. Please fill the function. Please fill the function fire gun to make the game work. Compare the bullet position against the chamber position. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Fire the gun. So I would have to say here. If the bullet position is equal to spin chamber, because every time I spin it, I guess I can do it like that. Then return, you're dead, right? So what do I have to return? Ah, oh, yeah, you are dead, like this here. Return, you're dead. Else, else I have to return, keep playing. So let's see. That was it. 